everyone. So it's been extremely requested for me to do an updated foundation routine. I haven't done one in quite a while and it's been just very, very requested. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get into the tutorial. Alright, so right now I don't have any makeup on my face and you guys can see that I do get breakouts because of my other foundation routine videos. You guys were all like, you don't need any makeup because, um, like on your face because your skin um, has no imperfections and everything which is so not true because I do get breakouts and right now I have a lot of breakouts so I thought it'd be perfect to show you guys my face with no makeup. So to start off I'm going to be applying my Clinique Moisture Surge Lotion and as you guys can see I don't really have much left because I love this stuff and it's kind of a gel consistency but it's very moisturizing and my skin is very dry so I really like it and I'll probably have to go repurchase this. So next I'm going to go ahead and apply a primer and the one that I've been using is the Glamcore Professionals um, Glamour First Impression Primer and I got this at iMats and I just use not even a full pump because it's a lot and then I just take my ring finger and first focus this underneath my eyes and that's because I apply a special concealer there because I do get under eye bags and then I'm going to just kind of rub the rest in between my fingers and pat this on my face. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my Sigma Tapered Kabuki Brush. And this is really good at blending in that primer and getting in the crevices of my face. Alright, so now I'm going to apply an under eye concealer and this one that I've been using a lot is the Eve Pearl um, Salmon Concealer in Light. So that's what it looks like and I actually got this off of Hot Look for um, cheaper so I will link that in the description box below. This concealer is perfect for under eye circles because it has that salmon color to it so it's going to block out and cancel any of that you know purpley blue color in your eyes so I'm just going to lightly pat this underneath with my ring finger. Now the camera doesn't really pick this up I don't think but um, this concealer does not really match my skin at all because it is a salmon color so if you were not to apply a tinted moisturizer or a foundation on top of that it would look a little bit odd so make sure that you do that if you're going to purchase this. But the next product I'm going to use is the foundation and the one that I've been using is the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua um, foundation in I believe oh it's B30 which is a little bit too dark for me. I, Sorry about that, it flew across my bedroom. So um, the shade that I am in is B30, which is beige. Um, but I think I'm about a B20 or B25. I'm more on the pale side, so this is a little bit too dark for me, even though they match this to my skin tone at the time. I feel like it's not right because I'm not this tan, but I mean, it doesn't make me like way tanner, but I guess you'll see what I mean. So I'm just going to apply this. Oh, and also make sure that you shake it up a lot before you apply this. Um, otherwise it's going to be really runny because it is a water foundation, a water base. So I just like to put this on my fingers and rub it in. And I kind of do like one cheek at a time and then both at the same time. Nothing really too special. found that with this particular foundation it's best for me to apply it with my fingers. I've tried so many different ways like using a regular foundation brush to apply it after I dabbed it on. I've done it straight onto the foundation brush and applied it all over there. I've um, done it with my fingers dabbing it and then I'll use another brush to kind of mix it in but I found that this is just the easiest way because otherwise I tend to use way more foundation than I need to um, so this way it's a little bit more natural and I'm not using as much product because it is a pretty pricey uh, foundation so I like to save it um, but now I'm gonna go ahead and use my MAC um, Select Moisture Cover Concealer couldn't say that um, in NW15 so it looks like this and I'm just going to go straight from the tube and apply this all over my blemishes. And then to blend this in, I like to use my Sigma Precision Round Brush, which is the P82. And I really like this one because it kind of mimics the shape um, of your fingertips. So it's very gentle and light, but you, you know, it's more sanitary to use a brush, obviously. And it's just really nice and gives a nice airbrush finish. So that's why I like to use this brush. I'm just going to lightly... Blend this in a circular motion and then dab. So 
So as you can see, my blemishes are concealed a lot more than they were, but still they could be pushed a little bit further. So I like to use my Bare Minerals Well Rested, which is technically a brightener like for under eyes and everything, but I found that it's perfect to use on blemishes because it really lightens them up and it sometimes blends it in completely. You can't even tell. So it's just this nice light powder that you twist to get a little bit more of, which um, I will do to get a little bit more. And then I'm just going to use the same brush that I just used. Tap off the excess and then just dab them right on top of the blemishes. So I don't know if you guys can tell from the camera, but it definitely makes them a lot more concealed. Alright, so now that I have that, I like to set this all. So I'm going to be using my Rockin' Republic Exhibition Press Powder in Suede, which it's really hard to show you guys this because it's a mirror, but it looks like this. It's just a nice matte face powder. And then I'm just going to be using my Sigma Large Powder F30 brush, which is just really nice for applying powder. I'm just going to swirl it, tap off the excess, and lightly apply this all over my face because I don't like a lot of powder on my face but it's just nice to set it. Okay now I'm going to go ahead and apply my blush so the blush I'm going to be wearing today is Dame. It's just my go-to blush because it's just very natural and fun for the winter. It's like a matte pink and then I'm going to be using my Sigma powder blush brush which is the F10 and I'm just going to swirl a little bit and then apply this to the apples of my cheeks and work up. Next thing I'm going to do is apply a highlight because my skin is very dry in the winter like I said earlier and it's just nice to kind of give my face a little bit of a pick me up and look like it's glowy and glowing from within and so I'm going to be applying my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle and it looks like this. It's just a very pretty pressed powder and this I've had for so long but it's going to last me like forever and I'm going to be using my Sigma Tapered Highlighter which is the F35 brush and it's just really nice for applying highlighter so I'm just going to dip a little bit of this and apply it in kind of a C motion with just a very light hand just along my cheekbones and bringing it up towards my temples and then I just like to apply a little bit of this onto the bridge of my nose and above my cupid's bow as well and that's just going to give my face a little bit of a nice highlight and glow. Now if you have oily skin or something um, and you have just a lot of shine, maybe you don't want to do this step but I just like to because I have very dry skin. Okay and then the last thing I'm going to do is apply my Fix Plus Spray. This kind of sets your makeup but it more so makes your face makeup look less cakey and it kind of makes you look very dewy and I just absolutely adore this. I'm just going to spray this on my face a little bit. I just totally spread. I totally scared myself. Okay, so we're going to try this again. Okay, and this smells so good because I think it's like rose water or something. But yeah, it's amazing. So um, as you can see, my skin looks a little bit more fresh and awake and it kind of is just a nice pick-me-up during the day. So I also like to use my model in a bottle, but I like to use that more in like the summer and spring months. So um, that is it for my foundation routine. Now the next step I would do is go ahead and apply my brow powder and stuff and I did a video on that so I will link that in the description box below and annotate it around here so you guys can go check out how I do my brows if you are interested. But that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions and leave them in the comments below. But I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!